Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary. You guys, I have the baby girl with me right here. Look at her. Oh. She just woke up from a little nap nap. If you guys are new to my channel, this is my new Boston Terrier puppy, Ruka girl. She just woke up from a little nap. She might need to go to the bathroom actually. So I'm going to put her back down in her little section that I got for her and I'll be right back. <laughs> right, you guys, so I have yet done a video talking about Ruka. I did do a video of me getting her and picking her up and just like a little vlog style. If you didn't check that video out, I will link it down below because that's just basically the first day I brought her home, but I've just been so busy filming Reptile, and uh, it was Capitan's birthday party last weekend, so I was just busy getting the house ready. But I'm finally going to sit down and talk to you guys about my little Boston Terrier, Ruka girl. She is about 11 weeks now. We've had her for about two weeks now, and I am so in love with her, you guys. I just kind of wanted to introduce you guys to her channel and how she's been um, as a puppy with us. I'm sure all of you guys are wondering where Capitan is. He's actually just laying back there. I'm sure he'll probably make an appearance right now. Everybody's just kind of snoozing right now, so I decided to film. Um, I do want to say before we get into talking about Roka, I want to say if you are new to my channel, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. I do post at least once to two times a week on my dogs or my critters or my budgie or whatever animal. Something's always going on here. So I post at least two times a week on my animals. If you are an animal lover, this could be your new channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I don't know if you guys can see, but she is in the back right there in her little section with her bed and she is actually potty trained. Crazy thing about the girl, she came completely potty trained. When we picked her up, we picked her about we picked her up about like three hours from where we lived and I could tell she needed to go to the bathroom. I literally laid a potty pad down on the ground and she used it. So the girl came to me really potty trained and still is. She's had like one or two accidents when I like didn't lay a potty pad down right away. So I didn't really have like anything to do with her potty training. Um, she came from a breeder in LA. Um, obviously the breeder did it right where she was with her mother the whole time. And I believe, you know, when they're puppies like that, their mother usually trains them to use the restroom. Um, Capitan actually did come to me potty trained as well. So it's really nice to have that. But the difference with her is she's on these potty pads because she is so darn tiny. When I did have Capitan, if you guys don't know who Capitan is, he is my Rottweiler. When I had Capitan, he actually used the dirt, so I never really had to experience uh, the whole potty pad situation. Oops, uh, she's using the restroom right now, so I can say hi. Okay, I'm going to grab her since this video is about her. <laughs> Where's she going to go to the bathroom? She's going to be a good girl. Go in her bed. Oh, there she goes. She goes in her bed. She's a really good girl. Like I say in all my videos, um... I do spend a lot of time with her. I have cut back a lot with like going out to brunch with my friends or going out to dinner because it's like having basically a baby. She is a lot easier puppy than a Rottweiler puppy um, just because she is so much smaller. But, you know, life has to change a little bit when you have a new puppy. So definitely have been spending a lot more time at home and trying to train her. I mean, not really train her, but kind of discipline her. It's been kind of hard to discipline her because she is so small. It's like, how do you discipline a three pounder? But she does cry a little bit at night. So me and my husband have definitely been trying to train her to like knock that off. I'm going to start training her how to sit, use a leash, use a collar. She never had one on before. She never had a collar on before. So she definitely did not like that. Um, so we're just, you know, really getting in. That's her crying. Um, usually I would discipline her and keep telling her to go back, but I'm just gonna grab her for this video. This is not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to pick them up because then they actually win the fight. 
I typically have to discipline her and tell her no and go lay back in bed. This is just a puppy thing. She wants to be with me. She slept a lot, so I'm gonna grab her. I usually would run around, but I'm gonna grab her before this crying drives us crazy. Okay, so here's a little crybaby girl right here. She is a red Boston Terrier. She does have some light brown in her and she has a cute little dot right here. Her mother was actually a silver Boston Terrier. I mean, to me, I never seen a silver Boston before, so her brother was completely silver and she's red, so she might have a bunch of different mixed colors in her at the end, but I think she might just stay like this really red with some blonde in it. Um, the vet told me she's probably going to be the biggest 10 pounds, which is a drastic difference from my 100 pound Rottweiler, but I am so happy I have a small dog. It is so much easier than a big dog. I mean, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Capitan, but his energy level is so much higher. Obviously, she is a terrier, so she does need a lot of running around, toys. She's a very smart. She knows what she's doing, so this girl is going to start getting trained by me. I want to take her actually everywhere traveling with me. Um, I want to take her on the plane. I want. She's really actually good on in a bag already, so I really have big plans on traveling with this little cutie. Can you see right here? Uh, since Ruka has been with us for two weeks now, we have gone into a routine of what we do. Um, I definitely like to run her around in my backyard and get tired, but since she is still only a puppy, she cannot be out in public because puppies her age that don't have all her shots yet can get parvo, and especially with how dang tiny she is, I don't want to risk that, so she really hasn't been out like to the store or out like to the bar with us or out to Peco or anything just because she hasn't got her shots. She's only been at the house and um you know I know Capitan's never had he's not sick or never had a kennel cough or had parvo so I know my grass area is clean so that is usually where I let her run around and exert her energy in the morning, the afternoon and we play really hard at night. She actually loves to play with her toys and toss around. So we've gone a routine where I tie her out, feed her three times a day. She's actually eating um, pure Vita kibble, same exact kibble that Capitan's eating, and it's in salmon and peas. They actually make it in like a small bite size for her. So that is what she's on. So same exact kibble as Capitan. And then I'm also giving her goat's milk. Um, that's just really good like antibiotics for everything that's going on as a puppy for her. Um, but I did recently take her to the vet and the vet told me she is extremely healthy. Um, I'm definitely going to be upkeeping her nails because you guys all know Capitan is so bad with his nails. So she is gonna be a really good puppy. I just really want to get her training in and I can't wait to be able to like take her out in the summertime once she gets all her shots. I did answer this question previously before, but I will just answer it because I'm sure you guys are wondering what made me chose to pick a Boston Terrier over a Boston. As much as I would love another Roddy, they are a lot of work. They are a lot more money when it comes to food. They are a lot bigger. They're just a lot more energy and um, I really wanted a Rottweiler, but I am so happy I got my Boston. Uh, my husband and I both had Bostons growing up. I had Emma and Paris. Paris was so tiny. She was about the size of what Ruka is now. Um, so Bostons have always been a very special place in my heart. I just love, they're just like basic, they're like the old school American dog. I just think that they're so classic, so cute, so spunky i mean i obviously love the french bulldogs but i had to go back to the bostons they're just so adorable like <laughs> look at her right there rookie i really don't know if capitan would have been happy if i got another rottweiler um he's accepting ruka he's just his own person he's his own he loves being an only child um of course he loves like hanging out with other dogs but for only length of time. And then he likes to be by himself, relaxing with me or my husband. So he's still adjusting. I think we did make the right move of getting a Boston. I do plan on getting her fixed. Uh, the vet said about six months is like the appropriate time for a small dog. I still need to do more research on that, but I don't have any plans on breeding her. She is a KC, but um, yeah, I'm just going to get her fixed because like I always say, I'm not gonna add more dogs into this world.
Okay, guys, so I think I'm done chatting about this girl. I'm going to show you how I set up her cage. Do a little bit of her running around. Um, just some clips I have of her. But don't worry, there's going to be plenty more Ruka videos in the future because this girl is not going anywhere. She's such a good girl. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's meet. Let me show you uh, where I keep this little cutie. Okay, so this is her little setup. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of little pee spots. I need to pick that up. But she is currently just in a fenced-in little area. Um, I got this gate on Amazon. I got her dishes at Marshall's and her bed at Marshall's. And then all these toys were just like little gifts. Um, she absolutely loves these raw hides that I bought her. I'm actually gonna have to take these out, I think, because they're getting too small. But um, I bought these at a boutique and these are helping her because obviously her teeth are coming in. She's very nippy at the moment. So these help a lot when she bites me. I just direct her with these raw hides or they're called bully sticks as well. That's what I used to give uh, Capitan when he was biting me when he was a puppy. But this is currently where she stays when I have to go run somewhere. And then she also stays in here at night. Um, this is where she goes to sleep at night. So and she uses the restroom very well on the pee pee pad. So this is currently just a little section. I have her and then my bed is right there. So that is where I keep this little rascal. Come here, Rookie. Do you like these? Ooh, these are your favorite, huh? Of course, she has lots of toys. This is actually Capitan's. She's got champagne. She's got her unicorn. Oh, there's the king. He tired still from his party. I'm tired still.